Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor today. I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today, and it's Marco Torres, and he is a marketing expert, and he has some great ideas to share with us today about marketing and growing your business. But before we begin, I just want to do a quick shout out to dmaworld.com. They are a marketing consulting agency, and they help people grow their business and not get scammed by those big marketing companies. And he just like you to consider coming to his website. His name is Mark. He'd love to talk to you. If you have any questions, it's dmaworld.com. So Marco, tell me a little about yourself because I love um, learning about marketing. There's in, in oh, Marketing, like we had mentioned earlier, is a consistently changing industry and it's always changing and there's always ways to do things better. So tell people a little about yourself and what you do. And I'm very excited to hear what you have to say. All right. Well, one, thank you for having me on your show. Appreciate this and looking forward to this chat. Um, so a little bit about me. I've been an internet marketer. I mean, I grew up in, in Puerto Rico. I was in the restaurant business prior to getting involved in internet marketing. And so I had five restaurants and a nightclub. By the time I was 23, I was uh, uh, moved on and eventually got into internet marketing in 1996. So I was a very early adapter of, of you know, trying to be online. And, and, and I guess I was a spammer before they called it spam i was <laughs> <laughs> i was doing you know millions of emails from uh, monthly and so on but uh, i've seen this complete evolution of the internet since 1996 and then i've generated over a billion dollars in sales for either the companies i've worked for or the or my clients or my own websites or in that time frame online and so hopefully i can add some value to your listeners on on how to get people to you know take action whether it be online or offline and uh uh, adding what I call uh, value add incentive based marketing versus, um, you know, discounting, for example. So the business that I'm mo most excited about today, it's called Marketing Boost. And we provide uh, travel incentives and restaurant savings vouchers and hotel savings cards, et cetera, to as a, as rewards that clients can offer to their clients to, for taking action, et cetera. We can obviously talk more about that along the way here. That sounds great. You know, I think it's great when you uh, you offer rewards. I think they always need to be like an incentive because people always love things, especially when they get something for free. And that always seems to capture people's attention. There's always, it seems, certain tactics and certain things you could do that could actually sway someone from really um, choosing one brand and the next. So maybe you could talk a little about some of the things that really make people sway. Because sometimes a lot of people do competitive shopping. So they check out one place and they check out another place and another place. And it's, you know, and competition is always large in, in all industries mostly. So how do you, you know, what are some of those ways that you could actually stand out and not be a pea in the pod? Great question. And that is exactly what we address with Marketing Boost. But first, you know, one thing I'd like to, to describe for listeners out there is what, what do I mean by incentive-based marketing? And so I often like to talk about, you know, one example or a couple of examples that everybody will recognize. And first one that comes to mind is Amazon with Jeff Bezos, you know, one of the, obviously the most successful online marketers in the world. Uh, and one of the ways he did that was in 2005, he launched what we now know today as Amazon Prime, right? Yes. When he, launched, when he launched Amazon Prime, I think it was $79 a year. And what we were buying wasn't access to video content. Most of us back then were not even you know, aware of video streaming. Yeah. But, but what we, the, the, the incentive we all bought into was free shipping. Yeah. Two day free shipping today. You can get stuff shipped in the same day. You know, it's, amazing. Yeah. but, uh, the free shipping was the, the draw card was the incentive. We bought that $80 a year. Now it's a hundred dollars a year for Amazon prime. Right. And we're all loyal clients to Amazon. Now we shop, you know, most online uh, searches start on Amazon to come, you know, look for, for products and, you know, products anyway. Yeah. Um, then there's another example that everybody will recognize and that's McDonald's, for example, with the mm -hmm. happy meal, the yeah. adult, you know, the happy meal where we where parents are around the world are choosing McDonald's over other fast food outlets because they, they help us take our eye off of the price and focus on the prize with the happy meal. <laughs> We're getting the little bundle, the bundle of the snack, the soda, the, the, the fruit, and of course the toy. 
the seasonal yeah. toy that entertains the child while we can maybe get a word in edgewise with our spouse at lunch. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and we, you know, so, so the idea being is what is your adult happy meal as a business owner? What right. are you, what are you providing that helps people take their eye off of the price? So you're not in a, a, a so you can avoid discounting and avoid being in a, in a race to the bottom by always trying to have your clients, you know, price compare you. Yeah. So what are you doing to add value and add uh, additional widgets or something to, create value with your your value stack your offering so that consumers are choosing you versus somebody else and um that's what we built with a, our company called marketing boost is providing a subscription model that allows business owners to to use our incentives as as one of the ideas they might use as well right. as or or creating their own incentive bundles and packages you know which is easily easily uh something anybody can do as well now, are there any specific types of marketing that's more powerful than others? Nowadays, we have so many different platforms and there's so many different audiences on different platforms. You know, someone could get really confused on where, what should I do? Should I do a Facebook ads? Are those the best things to do? Should I, you know, should I uh, go on Google and, and do some Google ads? You know, there's so much in our society that they now offer for advertising. Someone who is kind of new to the industry and doesn't know a lot about marketing Marketing, you know, are there suggestions for effective marketing where you could actually, you know, increase your sales? Well, you know, there's an old saying that, or or anybody in marketing who studies it for a while realizes it takes. It used to say seven touches before somebody would take action and buy your product. I think yes. today the studies are showing it's over 14 touches before somebody has. They've seen your marketing. They've seen your brand. They've seen your offer. And sometimes as many as 14 different times before they're going to actually pull the trigger and buy your yeah. product, at least in many cases. So if, you know, obviously if you can afford to, you want to be everywhere, right? You want to be, right. you want to be doing some, you know, targeting marketing on Facebook. You want to be on YouTube and uh, advertise your, even advertising on YouTube. You want to be on pay-per-click advertising uh, on Google as well. And on yeah. other, other search engines, you want to be doing press releases and get articles and stuff written out there about your business, if at all possible, so that there's, you know, touch points and, and credibility that you can begin to create as well by saying, look, you know, here, we were featured on, you know, here on CBS and what have you, we were uh, featured on this, you know, local newspaper or what, ha you know, and you're adding that to your, you know, your stack of credibility. Right. And then, um, and then you have those touch points, right? You know, but if you're just getting started with something, you know, I still find Facebook to be very effective and you can be advertising with as little as five or $10 a day to test ideas. So that's one marketplace where depending upon your product or service, but um, it's, you know, it works and you can have small budgets to test things and pretty much know instantly which one works better. You know, you test ideas, test a plan, you know, launch this, campaign and right. compare it against another campaign with $50 on each to just see which ones get the views and clicks and and then you know my, uh, optimize your landing page is are people buying when they land there are they are they clicking and leaving instantly there's a lot to it it's nothing in, you know yeah. to to getting it all put together properly but um it's one of the things that you know again is no easy task you're right about that <laughs> so so anyway, um, that's what we do at Marketing Boost in our community. We have a Facebook group with over 30,000 entrepreneurs. And uh, nice. within our community, we're always training and teaching people how to, you know, go about building landing pages, sales funnels, uh, uh, adding the, you know, automation right now in the today's world. If you're not, if you're not automating everything, you're really behind the eight ball. So you need a, yeah. a CRM system that can communicate with your clients via email, text messaging, voicemail, broadcasting. All of this can maybe sound complex to some, but when you have the technology, I mean, I've never seen, uh, it's never been easier than, in my opinion, than today to be an entrepreneur as far as the technology. I mean, you can build a website in minutes today. You can set up all of this automation for follow-up with, with prospects and leads that come in the door and then turn yeah. them, nurture them into clients. Um and the technology is available now. The big difference today versus what it was, you know, it's, it's there's so many of us, right? There's more and more competition online. 
and uh, as well as offline. And so yeah. how do you stand out from the crowd is where Marketing Boost helps come into the mix. Right. Um, and if you'd like, I'd love, love to tell the story of Marketing Boost and what we do without oh, sounding like yes. an infomercial. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'd love to hear your story. All right, cool. Well, first of all, let me kind of tell what Marketing Boost is, and then I'll kind of tell you how it, how it came about. So with what we do with Marketing Boost is we have a, a subscription model. By the way, it's only $37 a month, and it gives every entrepreneur, solopreneur, big or small company the ability to get access to three different categories of our incentives that can be used to add value to whatever, again, whatever your call to action is. They can be used at trade shows, you know, as giveaways, sweepstakes yeah. for lead generation, uh, you name it. But there are three categories. One being complimentary hotel stays. We offer from three to seven night stays at over 130 destinations around the world from uh, with no, there's no timeshare presentations or any crazy thing like that to do. They're easy to use for your, for your client that you're giving them the incentive and they come uh, in destinations like, you know, 30 U.S. destinations, places like five nights in Cancun, yeah. four nights in Cabo San Lucas, three nights in Las Vegas. We have all kinds of, you know, really sexy destinations. Then we have uh, hotel savings cards. They come in increments of one, two, three, and five hundred dollars. Oh, wow. And they, they'll they save you, they'll save your client or yourself as, a, as using the service up to $500, you know, with the, or up to the face value of the, of the hotel savings card on your hotel bookings. And they're good at over a million hotels worldwide. And then we have restaurant savings vouchers that are available throughout the USA and Canada. And they provide discounts on, again, restaurants that, you know, you pl it's a phone app, you plug in your zip code and you'll see all the participating offers nearby and go, go out and eat and save money. Right. Now these incentives, you, so with your subscription, you get the ability to to add kind of like that free shipping with Amazon, yeah. you get the ability to add different incentives for what I call micro incentives for micro call to action. For example, you might say, uh, hey, book a no obligation Zoom call with uh, with my team to see if it's a good fit for us to work together. And we're going to give you a hundred dollar restaurant savings voucher that, right. you know, to save you money next time you go out to dinner and uh, just for showing up for the appointment and showing up on time. So you're going to end up getting more bookings, more appointments, and you're going to get more people to show up. So killing two birds with one stone there, you can, you know, get one more appointments booked and two, eliminate the no-shows by adding an incentive to something as simple as, hey, let's book a, a Zoom call and get together and chat. Mm -hmm. Then you might add, you know, even on that same call, you might be saying, hey, if you buy our product, if you buy our six month program or you buy my coaching program or you order our software kit, you know, and, and uh, if you pay for 12 months in advance, guess what? We're going to give you six days and five nights in Hawaii on us. Now they don't include air. Here's the disclaimers that we teach our members to tell the client. Right. They don't include airfare. They don't include food and beverage. And they don't include, of course, the government taxes and fees. So mm -hmm. the client typically, if you do that disclosure, we let our the client pay the taxes and then they'll have 18 months to log in, select travel dates and, you know, get an instant confirmation and go. Uh, so now the way all this came about, if I can keep on rolling here, Stacey, yeah. all right, the way this all came about is a cool story. It came about by accident. We were, have been in the travel space, my partners and I, since, you know, 2010, that we had launched our own travel uh, business and it was doing very well. But we wanted video reviews, video testimonials, and, and we kept thinking to ourselves, boy, if we only had that social proof of a bunch of video testimonials from our clients, we'd be able to leverage that into thousands of additional sales. Uh, but we couldn't get hardly anybody to go that extra mile and film a selfie testimonial from the resorts, the hotels uh, that we were marketing. Right. And so we came up with an idea to offer them a bonus vacation. Now, this idea, uh, Stacey, uh, is easy for any business owner to also emulate and copy this idea uh, to generate testimonials. We we all need reviews, testimonials for any business you're in. You've got to have that yes. social proof. So we came up with an idea early on to do a survey with our clients when we expected them to be at their peak of happiness, which in our case was the day after they check into the hotel. Right. So we'd send them an email and a text message going, hey, how's the hotel living up to your expectation? 
And if they gave us a uh, uh, a three, or uh, rather a four or five star review a rating, we would then say, "Would you help us tell the story about our our travel site and 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 that hotel you're staying at? If you'd film a selfie testimonial and brag about the hotel brand and about ours, we'll reward you with a complimentary hotel stay in Orlando or Las Vegas." Well, that worked like a charm. Before you know it, we had dozens and hundreds, and today we have about twenty seven thousand video reviews now from happy clients that have been to these different hotels around the world, and. Um, but anyway, the point was we had to turn off that campaign right away because it was, well, we had some videos and now we put them all over our website and YouTube and our Facebook channels and everything. But um, it was expensive to fulfill those three night giveaways we were doing. Yeah. So, we, so then we went back to, we said, well, we have to turn this off because it's expensive. But how could, if we could only do this where it didn't cost as much of anything, this would be phenomenal to keep doing it. Yeah. So we, we went back to our hotel partners since we were in the travel space in Orlando and Vegas. And we said, listen, you've got a problem and we think we have figured out a way to help you solve it. Let's be honest. Your hotel is never full year round. Sure. You're full on certain weekends, holidays, peak season, what have you. But most of the year. 70% of the year, you've got 30, 40, 50% of your rooms going empty. Yet right. You still have the same fixed costs, right? They still have a mortgage. They still have staff at the front desk. They still yeah. have maintenance crews. Um, so anyway, we got these hotels to agree to give us their unsold inventory for, you know, when, when they expected rooms would likely go empty. And we were going to, we told them, look, we'll put some warm bodies in these rooms. We're going to put couples, families, individuals. They're likely going to spend money at the restaurant, bar, casino, gift shop, excursion desk, book extra nights, room service, et cetera. Yeah. And so they agreed to say, well, let's give it a shot. And uh, they end up getting some revenue versus no revenue. And they participated. And it's a closed environment where the, you know, the, the, the rest of the world doesn't find there's not seeing that these rooms are being offered at, at this amazingly low prices or pretty much free. Yeah. So anyway, that's we now had in our, our access to give away Orlando and Vegas again for our own incentives. Mm -hmm. And then we thought, man, if we could only convince more hotels to do this all over the world, we'd have another standalone business. Yeah. And that is what eventually became marketingboost.com today, where we provide these complimentary hotel stays, a high perceived value incentive that any business owner in any industry can use to, to encourage your prospects to get off the fence and do something with you, such as, you know, buy your product or buy your upgrade product. When you buy my product B to go with product A, it includes yeah. a bonus of three nights in Las Vegas on us. Uh, if you stay to the end of my webinar, we're going to give you, you know, we're doing a live webinar. So we're mm -hmm. giving away two vacations on this webinar today. So stay till the end and be engaged. We're going to pick two winners from whoever's the most engaged on the live call. You know, there's just a million ideas like that on how these incentives can be used to uh, create, to gamify things, to have fun at live events, to uh, even even support nonprofits and and give the nonprofits the ability to to auction these off and and raise funds, um, and so on and so forth. So we've now have a a lot of fun helping business owners scale and grow, and uh, using these incentives to stand out from the crowd. Wow, that's amazing! That is amazing. How long did it take you to grow this business? Well, we spent several years putting it together before we launched in 2017 uh, and organizing, like I said. But when we first launched, we only had six destinations and we had, um, you know, they were all three night stays, at the, you know, at six different destinations. Yeah. And we've now grown to uh, offering from three to seven night stays and 130 destinations around the world nice. as, far as, the, as, as far as the complimentary hotel stays are concerned. That's what we call our our higher perceived value incentive, right? Right. And, and then we have the hotel savings cards and they're now good at over a million hotels worldwide and the restaurant incentives. So we've continued to evolve as well and creating these uh, uh, value stack or creating this group of incentives that people yeah. can use in a myriad of ways. Now, can people, you know, there's so many e-commerce businesses nowadays because online businesses have gotten so popular. Is this a tactic that people could use on an e-commerce or on an online business? Absolutely. Especially, you know, one of the things that most e-commerce vendors have or struggle that we all have is, let's say, you know, people come to your website and of course the majority of them 
eventually bounce without buying anything, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then, of course, those that do buy, you know, maybe it's your transaction is an average of $100 per visitor or per, you know, per purchase. Right. And you, and you wish it was 500, but it's only, in a, you know, 100. Well, you might create a, a, we have a lot of members that have done this, they've created a rewards program. And they'll, you know, maybe, for example, say, hey, when you reach 500 points or $500 in purchases, you're going to be rewarded with a $500 hotel savings card. Right. And when you reach $1,000 in points, uh, you're, you're going to have a choice of complimentary hotel stay of three nights in Las Vegas or, you know, one of 30 U.S. destinations to choose from. Right. And you'll have a, you know, three night hotel stay. They don't include airfare, you know, so they can have their fine print there. Right. Doesn't yeah. include airfare, doesn't include food and beverage or government taxes and fees. And so simple disclaimer. And then, you know, you're dangling a carrot. So yeah. and then you have a reason once they bought something from you for that hundred dollars. Now you've got something to, you know, follow up, email, texting with that automation that you should have. By the way, we offer that as well. But anyway, we do have uh, upgrades to automation and stuff right. like that, additional products that we offer to help solve the, help, you know, create those marketing solutions. But anyway, the, was that where I was going with was the, you know, now you have an email, you can send people emails and follow-ups going, hey, you've spent 150, but... When you get to 500, this is one of the rewards you're going to get when you spend, you know, five, when you invest $500 or purchase $500 yeah. from our website, you get to a thousand and you get five nights in Cancun or five nights in Las Vegas and so forth. So yeah, a million ways. I, here, I have a case study that comes to mind of a guy that generated almost $500,000 in additional revenue in four days. And here's how he did this. He had uh, hundreds of people paying him uh, his uh, subscription to 97 bucks a month, I think it was for a um, access to his team's, you know, tips and when to buy and sell stocks and, and Bitcoin and what have you. Yeah. And he found marketing boost and he came up with an idea to run a campaign to his existing members and saying, look, if you, if you uh, buy, pay for a year in advance and become one of our premium members or what have you, then you will give you, he created his own incentive. You get the 13th month free and you'll get your choice of five nights in Cancun or Hawaii. And if you pay for six months in advance, you'll get, I forget what, but then he also said, you'll get three nights in Las Vegas or San Diego or something like that. So, you know, three night stays versus five. Well, yeah. he had about 300 people step up and pay him for a year in advance at 1200 bucks. And he had about another 150 pay for six months in advance. And so he ended up with nearly $500,000 in four days and oh, with wow. that campaign of additional quick cash flow. And now he was, you know, that's part of his ongoing process today. Yeah. So, and that again, nothing to do with, if you're in the travel space, obviously if you're a travel agent or whatever, they, we have hundreds of travel agents that use our service, then it's a real no brainer, right? You know, you buy a cruise and you get a bonus hotel stay or you get a bonus getaway. Uh, so you create you know, BOGO offers. But we have found that these work in nearly any industry because especially since COVID, by the way, yeah. after after COVID, everybody is, you know, almost revenge travel. I mean, especially in, in about middle of 2021, 2022, everybody was like, we got to go somewhere. Sick and tired of being locked down. Yeah. And and now with inflation, so, you know, costs are so high to, to travel or that people are also very excited about receiving these travel incentives because they're saving money. And, right. you know, if you can, if you can travel and save compared to retail, that's attractive. And so that, oh, yeah. that helps make whatever your business you're in offering these in travel incentives. And it's as easy as saying this, you know, uh, if you're a dentist, for example, you might say, Hey, I have partnered, I'm partnered with this travel company that I have a great travel, you know, great relationship with. And with my relationship with my, tr our travel partner, redeemvacations.com, mm -hmm. we're providing you with three nights hotel stay on us when you, you know, get your teeth cleaned or when you show up on time for your appointment or, yeah. you know, whatever it is your call to action is. Right. Wow. That's amazing. I, I love the idea of doing that. And it's funny because when you were talking about the points and the reward system, I thought about how Amazon does that. 
Amazon, if you if you get their Amazon credit card, you automatically will get reward points off your, you know, money off your your bill when next time you purchase things and you spend the X amount of dollars. So yeah, it's, you yeah. know, it's very uh, prevalent. You know, you see a lot of companies doing that. A lot of big companies are doing that. Exactly. And, you know, if you have big companies doing it, why not have smaller companies doing it and get grasp, you know, people's attention because people love things for free. People love to to get, you know, something, you know, for you know, any type of purchase or anything they're they're going to invest in. If they can get something back, you know, it draws their eyes. Exactly. And if you're comparing, as you said at the beginning of the call, we were talking about, you know, price comparing. If you're looking at apples to apples and there's two businesses selling the same thing and one of them's going to offer you a complimentary three night stay and 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 everything, you know, everything else alike, if you, you know, felt that you could like trust, you know, what's the old, you know, like and trust both companies. Well, yeah. then this one offers me a getaway uh, when I buy their product and the other one doesn't. Well, you know what? That couple's getaway is looking pretty attractive for three nights yeah. in Las Vegas, and I can use any time in the next eighteen months. And hmm, tell you what, I'll go with Company B that offers the complimentary hotel stay versus Company A that doesn't. So right. it it uh, and then of course a rewards program as part of what we help people you know put together is um, you know or another idea. Let's say you are an online retailer, like you said, and you're selling on Amazon, as you mentioned. Well, Amazon keeps the client info, right? So when you yeah. sell on Amazon, if you're an Amazon vendor, uh, Amazon did the shipping if you're in the prime category and uh, you never know who your customer was. So no. you have no way to communicate with them to sell them anything else. Yeah. On the other hand, you could pr include a insert in the shipping of the product and the insert could have a QR code and your QR code could tell people, click on the QR code and register your warranty, what have you, or, you know, be entered to win five nights in Cancun on us just for registering your, you know, your product with us or, you know, so you, some strategy of, of why they should click on the QR code, but that could include a reward right then and there. So you have right. a reason for them to click on the QR code, enter the name, phone number, email, and the purchase of the product that they just did with you. Uh, and now you've got their contact information to start, you know, uh, nurturing them and additional upgrades that they might purchase product B to go with product A. Hey, you bought a shirt. How about buying a jacket and pants to go with it? You know? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you've got, you've got, um, uh, you've got their contact info, which otherwise you wouldn't, you know, in many right. cases when you're, and, and on, and online. Okay. If they buy from you, well, of course you might have their, their contact info, but now it's, how do you get them to buy more? Right. There's really only two ways to build a business, right? There's, mm -hmm. you know, there's either either generate more customers, right? With one, obviously, so that means you need more leads, constant leads. You got to generate more customers, or two, make your existing customers more valuable. Yeah, meaning get the can you get your existing customers to spend more or spend more often? Right, and that's where building a you know rewards platform or offering incentives to come back and buy you know more often and thinking that through can be very very powerful because it's obviously a lot harder to generate new customers than it is to get your existing customers to come back and buy again or buy you know spend more or buy more often right i think that's an excellent idea you know because a lot of times you know, you know, uh, you know, um, owners of any type of business or or store, they keep trying to sell, and they're 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 going after leads, and they're exhausting them themselves. But it could be so simple as just driving traffic to the website or driving traffic to the the store, and then just having an incentive, and just you know making that incentive so irresistible that they feel stupid if they don't do it. You know, and it basically it's you have to get them to the point. Well, you know, if you know, I'm I'm stupid if I don't do, make this purchase because it's such a great purchase. How could I resist? You know, and and getting them to that that point where you know they they feel confident enough because they feel like it's it's an amazing deal. I'm not going to get that deal anywhere else. You know, I love that line. There's a uh, book that I just recently completed that I recommend anybody in business get uh, 100 million offers um what is it again 100 million offers or something let's see if i find the darn book here on, <laughs> on amazon but anyway yeah it's a alex harmosi um uh alex harmosi wrote this book 100 million offers 
and uh, mm -hmm. it's all about um, how to how to uh, how to make offers so good people feel stupid saying no. Right. Is what the title of his book is, and, uh, and then he just came out with another book called One Hundred Million Leads, which I'm also yeah. uh, about halfway through, and uh, those uh, those are great books. By the way, I recommend them. One Hundred Million Offers by Alex Hormosi to help you define what your offer is, who your customer is, and uh, create the perfect offer, which can include, of course, incentives of your own or of marketing boost, where right. you are you are uh, creating something people feel stupid saying no to, and boom, you're generating more clients. Exactly, exactly. I actually like him. I, I saw the, I read the first book. I, I, I bought the second book. I haven't started reading it yet, but... Yeah, he has some really good input. He he started out in the fitness industry and he he worked his way way up and he talks about his failures and not giving up and and how he he built it up and I think people have to realize that too is that, you know, not to give up and that, you know, when you when you don't meet your expectations, there's always ways to improve. And I don't consider it a, a failure, I consider it a learning experience and how can we make it better next time? What can I do to grow? Absolutely. And yeah, again, not to, uh, I like pushing his book because I love helping, uh, you know, entrepreneurs visualize and improve whatever they're doing. And, and he, he simplifies the idea that you need to, how do you create that value stack? How do you make an offer that is going to r resonate with your prospects and get your customer, you know, turn them into customers and then right. get those customers to spend more than they would otherwise and spend more often, which those, you know, at the end of the day, that's the only way to grow your business. You need more customers and you need them to spend more and more often. So right. he's good at that. And marketing boost can help as well. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely could. It definitely could. You see it, it, a lot of successful companies use this strategy that, you know, and they, they do very well for themselves because they are, they are giving away incentives. They're giving away rewards. And to do something like that, I think it, it, it really boosts the business and, and it helps. And, uh, you know, I, I've seen, you know, with a lot of, you know, it, it's hard, you know, do you think this, this is a, a great way, like you mentioned about the reward points, when you have a business, like you were talking about, we were talking about the e-commerce businesses. And when people go on there, they have to like the product, they have to trust, the, you know, the, the person they're dealing with, or trust the website they're on, and then they have to trust the company. And like you said, when you first start out, and they, they don't know, they're unfamiliar with this, with this brand, and this company and this website, you know, you could, they can, like you said, they can come on like 14 times before they make their first first purchase. But do you can, would, would uh, having a rewards uh, system or having a marketing boost on there, do you think that would lessen the chances of them having to come back so many times before that trust factor is actually absorbed? Yeah, well, that's, that's the idea, right? People have to know, like, and trust you uh, to do business with you typically. And so how do you, there's a lot of ways to help create that credibility as we talked about previously. Um, so th that might be, you know, saying, well, we, you know, Hey, our website here, you know, we support a local, we're local nonprofits. Um, and, you know, because you did, right. Supposing you'd used our marketing boost incentives to support local fundraising, high school football team fundraising, and you provided right. them with complimentary hotel stays that they could, uh, auction off and let them keep all the money, that kind of thing. And now you're posting that on the website. And saying, By the way, you know, we've got a bonus. If you take action before, you know, and create scarcity and urgency as well, reasons to do business. So now they're on that website and you're like, by the way, if you take, you know, we're running a special promotion for a limited number of, uh, or the first 10 buyers or the first 100 buyers who take action before, you know, uh, December 31st, for example, you know, we're going to have, the first 100 before the end of the day or whatever, however, great yeah. scarcity and urgency, we've got this bonus promo for you for, you know, uh, six days and five nights or what have you. Uh, or maybe it's, uh, uh, you know, when you buy $100 worth of whatever, you get a $100 hotel uh, restaurant savings voucher, good at hundreds of restaurants in your local uh, zip code. And, uh, you know, these Adding these incentives just gives your client one more reason to read further, to click the next button, to go ahead and 
put them into their cart and then you then you're going to be able to remind them you left three things in the cart you know don't forget when you you know you're three once click away from three nights in las vegas you know <laughs> and you're you're giving them a reason to to take action and it can definitely shorten that curve of, of having you know seeing your brand or product line 14 it doesn't necessarily mean they'll have to visit your website 14 times before they buy but they might have seen your brand, you've seen your Facebook ad and didn't click. And they saw your YouTube channel and or YouTube video and they didn't click. And they saw that they happened to look for something on Google and they saw your, you know, your your ad and they clicked or didn't click. And uh, eventually they're like, you know, okay, this guy's, you know, then there's re retargeting, right? You, right. Uh, not everybody knows about retargeting. I'm sure you've seen it. If you're uh, on listening to this show, you go to a website, xyz.com and, uh, now, wherever you go, you're seeing xyz.com ads. You know, you mm -hmm. go to your Facebook and there they start flowing up all over again. Yeah. You uh, you go to your Google search and there, there you go in your email and there's an email from them. And it's like they're retargeting you with technology, yep. which is which is uh, available typically on all the advertising platforms. So if somebody did visit your website, you have the ability, for example, with retargeting to to advertise, you know, to now to them on wherever they are on the internet, pretty much, and follow them with your ads. And that's where somebody can see your brand five, six, seven, eight, nine times. And then they're like, you know what, this is the solution they need. And they're clicking back yeah. over and they're buying your product. And then if right. you incentivize them, it might get them over that fence even faster. Right, exactly. Now, what type of services do you offer? Do you offer any type of classes or do you just have the, the marketing boost, marketing points and, and these type of um, services that you offer? Is there anything else? Do you do any training classes or anything like that? Great, great question. We do have uh, on, on our website, when you become a member for the, you know, starting as low as 37 a month, we have an entire library of webinars that we've done previously and uh, 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 client uh case study videos of, of members' stories that are success stories from our clients that have made, you know, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars by adding these incentives to their, mm -hmm. their mix. And so we have a whole library of video training all built in there. For annual members, if you step up and pay for a year in advance of ours, one of our incentives we offer is a four-week fast cash training uh, course. And then we also provide, you know, within our Facebook group, which is free to join, we're constantly doing, uh, uh, you know, live training and events and um, to continue to help business owners. And we also have our own podcast, by the way. I have my own podcast called the Marketing Boost Solutions Podcast, where we're talking about success stories and and, and business tips and how to grow your business uh, with the use of incentives and without. You know, we, you, we cover a little bit of everything and trying to help business owners uh, whether they be starting out as a solopreneur or they're an entrepreneur or they're enterprise level, we're here to help business owners grow. That's excellent. That's excellent. Now, if we had to give away um, a couple of takeaways for people, who, let's say businesses who are struggling, maybe they want to grow, they feel stagnant, um, they feel like they're at a plateau. What are some takeaways that people could start to, you know, uh, start to incorporate in their own business um, uh, life that they could actually try to figure out ways that they could actually enhance their business and start to grow and move forward? Well, you definitely need more. You need leads, right? Every business starts with leads. Do you have people either walking in the door of your brick and mortar business or clicking through from the internet to your website, landing pages, sales funnel, et cetera. So we need leads. Now leads are, you know, it, it come by advertising. So you need to be prepared to advertise and spend money to generate those leads. But before you just go willy nilly and start spending money, cause it can go very quickly on Facebook and everywhere else, then that's when you need to think through a good process of what is my, what is my offer all about? What is my call to action? why would people give me their information and lead magnets are what you might want to come up with. And what is a lead magnet? Mm -hmm. uh, Stacy, a lead magnet is, for example, let's say I'm a realtor. Well, I might want to write some PDFs and have some graphic artists make it really attractive. And maybe I want to do a, a, you know, how to buy a home with bad credit. 
Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's how to stage your home to sell it fast, you know, and uh, whatever it is you're an expert at, turn it into a reason for somebody for in information that you can provide somebody for free. Yeah. That's going to show that you're the expert and the authority in your business. And you're going to make that available free online with your ad campaigns. Hey, click here and download our free training video, or our free PDF on how to sell your home fast, you know, by with simple three-step process, you know, right. clean up your house, get rid, get rid of the junk, put, cook, you know, put some cookies in the oven when you're, oh, you know, whatever the tips are. I'm not the expert, but <laughs> the point is now, and when they're downloading that, you know, to that PDF, you're capturing name, phone number, email, and generating a lead. Now you can, right. one thing our marketing booth members have found very successful is to add one of our micro incentives, like a restaurant savings voucher or a hundred dollar hotel savings card as part of the value to download the PDF. So you might say, you know, or maybe it's be entered to win, make it like, okay, you're going to be entered to win five nights yeah. in Cancun, Mexico, when you download our free PDF on how to X, Y, Z, fill in the blanks. Right. So now you're giving them an extra reason and an exciting reason why they want to give you an accurate phone number, email and, and um, name, et cetera to one, get the free information you're providing, and two, either be entered to win some big grand prize right. or or to get, you know, maybe all entries, you, you know, be entered to win Five Nights in Cancun and all entries receive a $100 hotel savings card just for, you know, completing the form and filling out our our PDF or for comp or watching the video till the end. Yeah. You know, and now you're, you have a promo video, you have content that you're giving away free. And you're making them watch the video till the end, and you're going to receive a hundred dollar hotel savings card for that action. Right. And and now you've got leads that you can nurture, set up automation, so you can send them emails, text messages, voicemail broadcasters, invite them to live webinars, or invite them to book an appointment with you or your team. Right. You know, there's there's really pretty simple processes. And again, the two books to recommend that help that or. Alex Harmosi, as we mentioned, or for that, I don't have a book of my own yet, but you can go to marketingboostsolutions.com, uh, marketingboostsolutions.com. We provide a lot of uh, additional software tools on how to scale and grow your business quickly. This is amazing. I, I think this is great. I thank you so much for coming on the show and providing all this information. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with the audience uh, before we go? Yeah, yeah, I got one point uh, for your listeners. Yeah. If you go to marketingboostsolutions.com and then there's a first category there called Marketing Boost, you can actually get a free account of Marketing Boost with no credit card required. It's a limited version. It doesn't include all the incentive bells and whistles, but it gives you an opportunity to send a vacation to yourself, see how the process works and try it out for free with no credit card required by going to marketingboostsolutions.com. That's my incentive for you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, this has been great. Thank you so much for coming on the show. This has been a world of information. I I you know, I think people really need to, you know, people are are struggling nowadays. I've known so many people who've had businesses, they closed down, and then they started other businesses up and they're having trouble getting these businesses off the ground and, you know, I think, you know, I think this is a great way. And even businesses that are established that have been doing well, but they can do better. This is a great way to grow and enhance your business and to take it to the next level. So it elevates and it becomes better than what it is because yeah. we always have room to grow. One last thing that just entered my mind because I, I love, you know, again, giving tips to help folks. Yeah. It, amaz it amazes me to this day. I can't, don't understand it. How many local brick and mortar businesses do nothing to to solicit my information when I go in their business. You know, you go to a restaurant, they have my captive audience for an hour or two, yes. and there's no table tent, there's no nothing on the menu, nothing asking me to enter my name, phone number, and email. And uh, you could so easy to do that, you know, put a, a table tent with a QR code Yeah. Uh, at, at every, no matter what business you're in, at the cash register, you could have a QR code, you could have a, a countertop sign, hey, you know, enter to win five nights exactly. in Cancun, uh, or enter to get, you know, a free dinner on us, you know, on your birthday, what, some reason, Yeah. if you use Marketing Booster or not, 
what are you doing to capture and build your own database? That right. is a very powerful. Every business needs to be building an email list, phone number list, client list, and even people who buy from you, you're not you're not you're not generating a name, name phone number, and email at these brick and mortar businesses, and it just blows my mind. Yeah. How they're missing the opportunity to start building a database of everybody walking in the door with a QR code and simple technology where you can build that list, and then you can do what? Email them, hey, happy hour, or mm -hmm. you know, it's we've got promos here. You know, Tuesday yeah. ladies day, ladies special. You know what? Whatever it is you want to do, you've got the ability to communicate with them for bringing them back in for get that same client to buy more and buy more often. Exactly. Exactly. And I can't tell you how many restaurants I've been in and even other businesses and they don't, you don't even know they, they don't do anything. Like you said, have a little tent on the table with a Q and R and, and, you know, some type of, you know, some type of, when you first walk in, have like a little sign or something where you have to sign in, you know, and, and uh, put your name and, and how many people at your, are going to be at your table, have something where pe people are most likely going to go and be able to actually see the advertisement and see the giveaway or the reward points to in give them incentive to actually and engage. Yeah. Engage the yeah. entire staff, reward the staff for, for, for getting people to, you know, go through this process and enter. I mean, obviously not everybody will, some will, some won't. So what next, you know, it's just, yeah. but if, but if you can get, you know, 10% of the people walking into your store to enter their information or 50% or, you know, imagine what that can do to repeat business because now you have the ability to communicate with them, to invite them back for, make them aware of your your new product line, make them aware of your special offers, make them aware of special events, exactly, you know, uh, et cetera. And I think that's a great idea. If you gave your staff an incentive, well, I'll do this, or you'll get extra in your paycheck, you know, for, you know, a certain percentage for these, you know, X amount of people that you get to, to sign up and, you know, and, and, and do or purchase, you know, and, and use the reward point system, you know, it, it would, it would enhance them to, and motivate them because that's what you need is the motivation. How do you ignite your staff to want to really, you know, see you succeed? Because, you know, at the end of the day, they're, they're going there, they're working, they're going home, you know, this is not their business. This is not their baby, but when you give them an incentive, you know, especially when you talk dollar signs, even like a 5% or a 3%, that makes a difference for people. Absolutely. And, and you, you know, you gamify it. You can engage the the staff with, you know, Hey, uh, even recognition without even, if it's not money, you know, people yeah. love the recognition, the morning meetings. Hey, Mary here had a hundred guests signed up yesterday. You know, everybody applause and, you know, uh, uh, she gets the best parking spot. You know, who knows what you can do. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you know, you, you get to park in the boss's spot for next month for the, you know, I don't know. If that... <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, they do that in high school too. <laughs> right. It they... works though. It gets the students motivated. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I love it. So before we go, just tell everybody your website again so they don't forget it. Appreciate that. Yeah. Marketingboostsolutions.com. Marketingboostsolutions.com. Join our Facebook group, follow our podcast, uh, and learn how you can get a free account with no credit card required at marketingboostsolutions.com and check us out. Thank you so much, Marco. This has been amazing. And you've given a wealth of information. I, I appreciate your time. And, and this has been remarkable. Thank you so much for providing such valuable information to our, our podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. You have a great day. You too.